If you're looking for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable coins in the market, be sure to check out EasyMutt.com. Use discount code DSG at checkout for 5% off your order. Link is in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is DSG here coming today with another Man24 video. And today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get coins right now on Man24. In case you guys didn't know here in the channel, all I do is talk about no money spent methods. So if you guys are looking for coin trading points or XP, this is the place to be. Because like I said, all I do is post no money spent methods. As always, if you guys have any questions on what I talk about in today's video, make sure to comment down below, and I will answer your comment as soon as possible. Today, best coin making methods. We have a lot of stuff to go over. The word of the day today is flipping cards. We have like four different filters to go over, so we're going to go over all that stuff, and as well as one set. So pretty much a lot of stuff to cover. You can make a lot of coins today. Today's one of the best coin making days we've had all year from the stuff I've seen so far. Really quickly, do yourself a favor. Go follow me on Twitter. I put out, out a coin method for a completely free. Uh, no OnlyFans stuff, not making pay for nothing. It's a completely free method. You could get 20,000 coins for buying five cards, and it was kind of like a limited time method. So you want to check that out. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description down, or the pinned comment down below. But let's talk about how to flip cards right now and make some coins. This is the best way to go right now. If you're low on coins, you probably want to flip 81s or 80s. It doesn't matter. Either one works well. Uh, these 80s, you just see there, can sell for 13K. It's going to be hard to find these cards for snipes because this, this this market is flooded with cards right now. But you want to sell for about 13.5k. You can go to newest if you want to get like these Devontae Smiths as well. Uh, these will sell for about 15k unfiltered. So your your objective here for these 81s is 13k and under. And then for the 80s is about 11k and under. It's just going to take a lot of going back and forth. You're going to see plenty of snipes today though. Uh, wide receivers might not be the move though because this market is so flooded. So you need to go up to a position that only has like one card on it right here. With like, you know, Jerome Bettis. That's only one card there. Quarterback should only have one player and one card on there. These are going for 11 k These are all good snipes. You just relist them back for 13.5. They will sell eventually. They'll sell eventually. Maybe not instantly, but they will sell eventually. I can promise you that. There we go. 9.9K. Already seen a ton of snipes. Just got bought up. You got to be quick. So that's that. This might be the best filter in the game right now. Really good way to make coins, and you don't need much to get started. Next, let's talk about something I was doing earlier today. This is just with the 85. So ignore the 84s. My suggestion to you is to probably just stick with right outside linebacker because it's just Lawrence Taylor and it's just 85s. Because if you go to wide receiver here, you're also going to see Jerry Rice and you're going to see Devontae Smith. So we don't really want that. We just want to get the, the, you know, the cards we want right away instantly. So just go to right outside linebacker. This is probably the best way to do this. Also, Lawrence Taylor has more, more value, so it'll be a little bit easier to do this. Um, but like with here, Lawrence Taylor, this card, this could completely change with prices as the time you see this, this video, it's only being recorded about an hour before it's posted, so it should be relatively similar, but you never know. With people just getting off work and ripping these packs, with, especially with LT being like one of the best defensive players in the game every year, this could change a lot within, within an hour, so just keep that in mind. But this card here, you can see is selling. This card will sell for 102 uh, at, at this point in time from what you're seeing. So our goal here would be to buy it about 92K or under. It's just going to be a lot of sniping over and over again. I was getting some good snipes earlier. Definitely not showing up right now, so we don't know what to think about that. But if you want to give this a little shot here, give us you know some some attention. Not a bad idea. If you have the patience for this and you want to check out you know Devonta Smith, what I'd recommend is going to newest, and then you're just looking to buy in. Same thing, kind of like oh oh never mind, that's Jerry Rice. See, I, I already got confused. But like you just want to buy in, kind of like the same price, 92k. Sell that card for 102 or 100. He'll be a little cheaper than Lawrence Taylor, so sell it for about 100. And you want to buy in here at 90 then. You just have to go about 10k less than what you're selling for. So that's that. Two best filters right now. Those are pretty good. Uh, and one that is debatably better. There's so many good sniping. This is like the best sniping day we've had all year, in my opinion. Uh, you can make a lot of coins off sniping consistently today. So I don't like sniping that much. I'd rather build sets, and I'll talk about a set next. But that that set maybe like over 100k today in just like 30 minutes. So that was really profitable. I don't think it's profitable anymore, but we are going to go over that. But same thing with like these legends here. 82 to 83. These cards are selling for 26k, guys. Our investments are looking real good right now, real good. If you saw me over the weekend, I told you guys 82s are probably the move this week. Uh, I expect them to sell for about 27 to 30k somewhere in there. They've gone up over a thousand coins today, just on the unfiltered part of this. So they went from like 24.5 to about 25.5. We're looking good so far. But like with these 82s here, you just want to sell these cards for 26,000 coins even. 26,000 coins even, and that means you're looking to buy at under 24K. All you have to do here is filter by all offense, all defense. Don't do what I just did. Don't go to right end or tight end. Just click all offense, all defense. It's super quick stuff here because uh, there's only one card in the offense, one card in defense. So just go to all offense, all defense, and you know anything under 24K is where your profit starts. These cards won't sell instantly, but they will sell eventually. Kind of the same thing with those 80 overall cards. 
they will sell eventually. If you flip the 85s, the 85 AK cards, those will sell much faster because there's not as many of those up. So just keep that in mind. There's a lot of Legends up, so they will take a little bit longer to sell. And there's a ton of 80, 80 uh, overall cards and 81 overall cards up. So those will take a little longer for sure. But let's talk about a good set that I think you should look at. Today, I made over 100,000 coins off this set. And uh, it's something that you guys might be able to take advantage of as well. The problem is the market has kind of corrected itself. This is what I put out on Twitter. As soon as I saw this was working and I did it a few times myself, I put it out. So you're going to want to follow me over there. You get just instant coin make making methods when I find them. I tweet them. Not all the time, but sometimes you'll get like exclusive methods and you'll get them, uh, you know, a head start as well. Not every method I post on Twitter, I'll put in a video. So you could get some exclusive methods there. So you might want to go give me a follow. But here we go. With this LT card, Devontae Smith was not as profitable as LT. I tried it. I didn't, I didn't even build a set. I just looked at it. LT is the way to go. So these cards here, earlier today, I was buying these for 110K or less, and this card was selling for 620. So at minimum, or at, at the maximum price I was building the set was 550, selling them for 620. After tax, I was getting about 570 back. That's 20K in profit. Um, but obviously, I wasn't buying this for 550. It was really more like 535, 540. So I was making almost 30, I was making over 30K in profit every single time. Now, what you can do to make profit on this sometimes. Just check the market. Uh, make sure you do your numbers, do your math. Add all the, the the price of these sets up or these cards up here. So your target's going to be probably like 90K. And then go see what LT is going for on the market. So then we'd go to the auction house. We know we have to buy those 85s for 90K or less because, you know, we just saw the filter uh, that I was just showing you guys there that you want to snipe at. And then we'll go to AKA. And then we're going to see what LT is going for now. So we, it, it's going to cost about 450 to build that set. Right here is going for 531. We have to take about 53,000 coins off of this, so we would make some profit on this. Not a ton. I mean, actually, it's pretty good profit. It's not bad, actually, at all. So you could still make profit on this. It's just a matter of being able to make those snipes on those 85s and having the patience to do it. Some of it's just skill. Some of it's just you're not you weren't the first person to get it. Some people have better input or worse input delay than others, where you're like clicking on the card and then you're trying to scroll down to buy now. Some people are just faster than others. Part of it's Wi-Fi, part of it's connection. I don't know what, it, I don't know all the you know dynamics to it, but some people just have better opportunities to do it than others. So that is all I have for you guys today in terms of making coins through flipping the market or doing sets. It's a great day to flip the market. So if you're low on coins, you can make a lot today. You really can make a lot today. I want to go over some stuff that happened this weekend that we did. So with 82s, obviously, if you want to sell, it's a good time to sell. You can see here, I'm selling off. I'm, do, I'm doing some manipulation here, and I'm not, I'm not going to put in this video because I don't even know if this is working or not, but I'm trying to manipulate the market a little bit here. Uh, so if this works tonight, I'll put it in tomorrow's video for sure. Then you guys can take advantage of it. But I'm just doing a little test here. I'm doing a little test. I'm starting to sell off a few of these 82s off. But it's not a bad time to sell now. I mean, we're up over 2,000 coins on each card. Well over 2,000 coins on each card. So you have that going for us. If you want to sell your 82s, it's not a bad time to do it. Profit is profit. Go ahead and take it. But with Camardi, I got a Camardi from one of my Comp Pass packs, like the level 27 or something like that, 27 Comp Pass pack. And then I also bought one over the weekend just because I wanted to use them. Now, I did not want to sell him right away because he was down to like 650. Even today, he was down to 650. He was actually below 650 at one point. Are you at 750? He's basically at 750 right now. I could see this card finishing out around 775 to 800K. So I'm going to hold on to both of these. And what I'm going to go ahead and do, which I recommend you guys do too if you have coins, you take that free RG3, you take that free tight end from the Campus Heroes Field Pass and stuff and the objectives, and you go ahead and build yourself a Campus Heroes Steam Team. I sold, I'm going to sell both these Camardis. I'm going to get back 1.4 million coins. I'm going to go over here, which I already did. I already bought this card. I'm replacing Cromartie with this 85 overall cornerback. This card is 100K coins. He's going to have 88 speed. Guess what Cromartie has? 88 speed. On my team with my man coverage strategy item, he gets 89 man coverage. Cromartie has 90. It's just a slight deficit. He only has 75 press, which I don't press that much. So I hardly ever press. So I only press like in the red zone or like on the five yard line. So not too worried about that. Zone is obviously his zone coverage is trash. I do run quite a bit of zone. I run more man than zone, but I still do run quite a bit of zone. So that's kind of a downside. But he's going to be, you know, DB3 for me, cornerback three. Not too worried about him. But for a card that's 700K less and on a Campus Heroes theme team still, you look, I'll take this. Like, that's, a, that's a W in my opinion. So I recommend if you can fit in some budget stuff like that that you can tweak uh, to your team and save yourself coins, I think it's totally worth it. We're probably going to get a good cornerback with ultimate kickoff as well. You could expect a, a player from every single team. So that means we're bound to get at least a decent cornerback from that promo. And I'd expect one. I'd expect a champion cornerback from that as well. Because we're going to end up going about a week without a cornerback. You usually get like two cornerbacks a week. Like you, that's a very common position we see upgrades to. So 
Uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. More stuff tomorrow. We do have team, preseason team of the week coming out on Wednesday. Ultimate kickoff on Thursday. And once again, Legends on Saturday. So, going to be more of a jam-packed week. That means more coin-making methods. We're going to take advantage of all of them. Hope you guys have a great today. Uh, and if you did enjoy this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe below. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Stay safe for me. Peace out.